Okay, welcome back, Harvey Bass fans. Harvey Bass Angler Mike Rogers here with a few tips on a spinning reel, your finesse gear. Uh, this is mostly for the uh, our younger generation that subscribes to us uh, that is always asking me questions on tips of this and tips of that, but also how do I get away from buying the most expensive stuff and doing it a little more cheaply. So um, I'm going to start with. This is my 703 Dobbins, and it's encased in a rod glove, and I recommend them both. This first thing I'll talk about is how you fill up a spool here. Most of you guys are complaining about line being wrapped and so on and so on, and that's caused by overfilling your spool. And if you overfill it and you make that cast, that line's gonna come out and just be loose and hanging all over that. And when you go to click and reel, it's gonna grab it all and take it all, all up in there. And sometimes that stuff is so, so loose or so overfull, as soon as you open that bale, a big clump of 30 yards of it will pull, pull right out in there and then get all messed up. <clears throat> so it's important you, you fill it uh, correctly. On the opposite end of that, sometimes you underfill it. And the underfilling, what that does, is it makes you cast harder to get your light line out there. You know, unless you got a heavier weight on this thing, and most uh, finesse gear you don't. It's a lighter light, lighter weight. Uh, when you toss it out there, uh, you have to huck it because your line is hitting your spool lip as it goes out. Friction. Little by little, little by little, little by little, it slows it down, slows it down. So it's important that you fill it up um, correctly. And let me get closer here. And you'll see that if you fill it up within one eighth of an inch to the outside edge, you will end up with plenty of line on there that's filled up a spool, and you'll get a great cast out of it, and you won't have that line fall out. The um, second thing is drag. And I've been guilty of this because I was born and raised on a spinning rod some 52 years ago. And uh, I failed to check it, as some of you do. And the worst thing you see, and I've seen it time and time again, is you're out there and you're fishing, you get, and you get that bite, and you set your hook, and all you hear is zzz, drag coming out. That's because you didn't set the drag. And now you've lost the fish, uh, which <laughs> could have been your personal best. So I make it a habit of grabbing my line when I pick it up and pull it to see how tight it is and that I can make that hook set and uh, it's loose enough that that fish can still take drag if it, if it wants to but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose it so check your drag uh, a lot of spinning reels have their drag set up on top uh, some of them have them down the bottom it's a number system up here it's not just you know feel it pull it out feel it the um, second thing is Clicking your bail once you've made your cast and the line's gone out, the line's gone out, and it's sitting there like this. Don't reach down with your handle and pu push it and click the bail with it. It'll grab all that loose line again and wrap it all up in there. Now you got a big bird's nest and it's going to take you forever to get it out. So once it's out and going, reach out there with your off hand and flip the bail. At the same time, the line is laying in your hand. Grab it and pull it out straight to make sure that it's away from the reel before you reel it up. It's simple, uh, uh, pretty quick. Within seconds, uh, uh, you're taking up you're taking up line. Uh, try that method. That will uh, help you out to get that line away from away from this reel. Um, the fourth thing is don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to use uh, braid on your light spinning gear. Um, this is uh, Finn's 15-pound uh, line. It's light, lightweight. Um, it does its job. Uh, I would rather fill up uh, my spool with this uh, at a cost on something that's going to last me a year or two. Uh, you use it up little by little as you tie knots, but it, it's been on there a while. Um, and it's doing the job. And then I tie a leader to it. Like a 12, 15 pound liter, whatever, whatever the application that you're going for, clear water. Um, it's cheaper to do 
10 feet of uh, fluorocarbon than it is to put a whole 300 yard spool on this thing. It was going to cost you an arm and a leg. But go ahead and spend the money for the for the braid. It'll last you. It'll it'll last you uh, forever. Um, the braid has no stretch to it. Uh, the fluoro does a little bit. You can make that hook set just fine. The last thing, um, and I call it, I call it feathering. So when your bales open, you make that cast, and your line's going out, and going out, and going out, and it's going round, round, out, and out, and out. I hold my hand right here for two purposes. One is I'm going to hand click the bale, right? But as it's going out, and if I've overshot my target, and you see it's going out past that, you can feather this down and feather this down and, and then hold the line and it'll drop right to it. It's, it's, it's a finesse a shot. You're not dropping a big cannonball in there. Um, it, it, uh, it truly helps. It's just a funnel. Uh, we'll, call it, we'll call it feather. And then once it's feathered out, you reach down and click your bail, you got your line in your hand, and you pull it tight, and then you make the reel, and things are just fine and dandy. Um, so try try feathering it uh, when you when you when you flip it out there. Um, this is uh, this is my finesse rig. This is what I use. I've got three of these set up for uh, different applications of uh, baits. Um, it's a cheaper idea than filling the whole spool again. Um, you guys should uh, you know, give it a shot. And then uh, uh, get on uh, our YouTube channel that you're watching here and go up there, subscribe to the channel, and you'll get all this stuff. Um, other than that, go out and take another kid fishing and uh, have a lot of fun. See you then.